A couple of days ago, I posted a review of my Kimber K6S DCR, or Deluxe Carry Revolver. In that review, I said this gun is one of the best guns I've ever had that actually still kind of sucks, that I really don't like all that much. I said that all the features of this gun are extremely well thought out, that they are extremely well executed, except for one, and that is that it doesn't have a hammer. I prefer a revolver to have a hammer, but this trigger, this double action only trigger is so good, it was almost worth not having that hammer. It was almost uh, good enough that I could accept that there was no single action option. But I also said in that review, even though I wasn't really happy with it the way it is, I did find an accessory for this gun that makes it, I don't know, almost worth keeping, or maybe it'll make it worth keeping. It's an accessory that's been around for quite a while for most guns, but I've never liked them. And the one for this gun is finally a case where I said, hey, it looks like they did it right. So I want to take a moment here to show you what that accessory is. It's this, a Crimson Trace laser grip. Now, I know you're going to say, well, laser grip's been around for a long time. Well, they have, and I've never liked them, never been happy with them. This one, I actually like, and I'll show you why. As you can see here, this laser grip isn't all plastic. It is actually mostly wood. If you look at it very closely, most of it is a nice silver wood laminate. Most of the grip is actually, like I said, wood. If you look inside the grip, you can see there, this is a solid wood product, a nice solid laminate wood product. The part that's rubber is the front part here that has the little activation button and the little housing here is hard plastic for the actual laser. But like I said, the rest of it, not plastic. So that's the major difference between this one and every other laser grip I've ever seen. Usually the laser grips are not only ugly, big black plastic grips, but they're bulky. This one's not only not ugly, but it's also not bulky. It's very streamlined. It's the same size as a regular solid wood bantam grip. So it doesn't really look oversized on the gun. It's not made out of that cheap looking high gloss plastic or even matte plastic. It's actually a good looking, properly sized wooden grip. And that's the first time I've ever seen that happen on a laser grip for a revolver. So I thought I would get this and put it on there and see how I liked it. Now I almost hate to take the grips off of this one because they are so nice. I don't know if it shows up on camera or not, but the orange in these grips is just amazing. These are some of the most uh, attractive grips I've ever had on a handgun. But they gotta go if I want to put the laser on here. Sometimes wood grips just do not want to come off. That's why it's good to keep around a nice little plastic putty knife to pry these things off without damaging the grips or your gun. You got to keep this screw because you reuse the screw according to the instructions here. But the grips can be put away. I don't know for what, but put away. Now we'll just put the new ones on. Very straightforward here. Probably don't need to tell you how to do that. Battery. Put the battery in the grip. Works better if you do put the battery in there. Trust me, I've made that mistake before. Been on there nice and easy. Then, well, that ain't working. That stock grip screw does not fit. Mother, I can't possibly. Did it come with a grip? I mean, screw. I don't fucking see one. Retain stock grip screw. Reinstall stock grip screw. That stock grip screw does not fit. Mother fuck. God damn it. As you can see, what is going on in there? God. Well, it seems like I've reached a little bit of an impasse here. You're supposed to reuse the stock grip screw. The stock grip screw does not fucking work. Well, it seems like I've reached a little bit of an impasse. The stock grip screw, which you're supposed to reuse in these, doesn't freaking work. I don't know if it's because these are the wooden grips and not the stock plastic grips, but as you can see, they don't fit at all. So I guess I'll have to wait until I can order a grip screw that will actually fit these unless I can find one that actually fits it. I guess this is worth a try. Smith & Wesson screw Ruger grip. Don't tell me I'm getting fucking lucky and this is actually gonna work. I'll be goddamned. Well, it looks like I got lucky. The grip screw out of the grips that came with my Smith & Wesson Model 66 
actually fits this. Fits in there perfectly. Fits the hole perfectly, and it's the perfect size diameter and thread. So looks like I got lucky on this one. My meltdown was for nothing. Okay, now I've got it on there, and it does activate quite easily. It doesn't take a lot of effort to activate it all. Just a normal grip does activate it. So looks like it's ready to go. So I'm going to take this to the range shoot it a few times, get it zeroed in, see how well it works with that staging that trigger and then using that laser sight instead of having to hold the gun out in front of me and try to maintain a sight picture. Uh, I'm gonna try shooting from the hip, try all kinds of different ways of shooting this gun and see if this laser sight, along with this really good double action trigger, makes me not really need a hammer for my small revolver for those times I carry a small revolver. We'll just have to wait and see, but like I said, this is the first time I've ever seen a laser grip that actually looks good and does what I want it to do as far as a laser grip. So I'm anxious to try it out. We'll go to the range with it this week, uh, maybe a couple of times, see how it does. And then we'll see if this gun here in conjunction with the Crimson Trace laser grip is actually worth carrying every day.